Hello, and welcome to installment 12 of the Heart of Evil walkthrough. This is going to be a pretty busy day. We're trying to rearm ourselves since everything we had got taken. There's a letter here on the table detailing what goes on in this area and how things got to be the way they did with uh, General Longdong promising the people that he would be able to handle the monsters. And he was largely able to handle the monsters, but did it by declaring martial law and basically hosing everybody. Alright, so now we see another trap situation. We've got our blue lasers and a guy waiting here to shoot us. So we throw the grenade to his right. He runs to his left. Ooh, he didn't run through the beams. Normally he runs through the beams. Where'd he go? Nice. That was more clever than I would have given you credit for. Good work. I play this game basically like Homer Simpson. If I planned everything, it would be a lot more efficient, but it wouldn't be nearly as fun. Seriously, how awesome is that? Oops. No, we're not using that. It's real easy to get one-shotted by that helicopter when it comes around a corner firing a rocket. It's a spaz attack! The spazzes are coming for you. Alright. Now one of the things that letter mentions is that the person who wrote it and then subsequently died has stashed these tires for this van uh, around the city and altered the axle according to the, uh, although I think it spells axle wrong in the note. Anyway, I altered the axles of this minivan so it would only accept these special tires with these suits of the car deck of cards on them. Stay alert for Yankee Pete. Don't give away your position by whining all the time. Alright. So anyway, we've got these tires with the various suits of cards on them. We've got diamonds so far. We need to get the rest of them so that we can get this van going. Now obviously the van doesn't directly get us... Uh, to the point where we're ready to take off in the plane, but couldn't hurt. Nice to have a van. All right. So now down in the sewers, Half-Life Pierce will be enraged at this point. Yes, there are Vortigaunts in Vietnam for some reason. Ah. Apparently the main reason Vortigaunts are in Vietnam is to get shot in the face by me. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is a fabulous plan. You keep that up. Welcome to the flamey area. Here we've got the red tire, so now we're halfway done with the four tires we need to collect.
This is a uh, closed gas station. Yeah, that's what they say when they want to trick you into coming to go get them, and then they shoot you. There's a notice on here that tells that the gas station was closed for not adhering to communist doctrines of some kind. Did you guys take off? Okay, I was gonna say you guys ticked off the monkey. I was gonna be upset. Not really, but upset that you were bothering to fight me when there was a monkey on the loose. Stupid monkey! Ow! Ow! Big dumb monkey! Dang. He had a lot to say. Oh, darn it. Another chum toad bites the dust. Ah, there we go. Looks like the monkey's stuck there. There we go. Monkey versus bull squid. The fight nature always intended. <laughs> and I took advantage of. Alright, lots of jerks around here. Now we'll keep a move on. Although this is a good opportunity to show you about the new high octane shotgun ammo I picked up. There will be other opportunities. So we went through the lower level of the sewers, this is the higher level, in fact you can actually look down and see where we were previously. Follow this all the way back, you can see that we've made a complete circle and are now back at the general's compound. We've got three of the tires, only need one more. Hopefully the zombies that we ran by didn't block us in, great. Sometimes they'll make it all the way around the corner there. And when I say sometimes, I just mean the one other time I did this run. But it turned out to be too long of a movie. Now we'll go past the faces of the smiling Vietnamese. Here's the van. We can attach all the tires we've got. We still don't have the spades. Hey! Cut that out. It's bad enough they're strung up. I don't think there's any way to get them down either. There's a notice here just talking about calling them enemies of the people. Basically, General Dong, anybody who sp speaks out against his regime gets fed to the monsters. Uh, but, and I think somebody, the, uh, yeah, the soldier we freed mentioned that not only do they get fed to the monsters, but he's got an arena where he has gladiatorial type matches. All right, everything's hooked up. The van is ready to go. And next time we'll get to see where it takes us.